Gun Venture is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Double Tap Ammunition and Gondelio. If there's anyone testing the limits of black rifle design, it's Frank DeSoma and the guys at POF. We stop by their headquarters and get a chance to hold some of their factory fresh delicacies. Hey Frank, how's it going? Oh geez, look who walks in. Good to see you again, mate. How you doing, buddy? Good seeing you. Hey Frank, good to see you again. So Ian says we gotta stop by and see POF. I said, absolutely, we gotta see some of this cool stuff you guys have been making. Right. What's the quick story about how POF got started? Some idiot was a process engineer, and a lot of my friends had ARs. I never really liked it that much. I was in the HK, like, 91s and stuff okay. like that. But I seen the piston system on that, and I thought, damn, that's what these ARs need. They need to be piston-driven. 30 hours worth of engineering on SolidWorks, and it actually worked. Not only did it actually work, it also is adaptable to not only 5.56, but you can scale it up some too, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, you think we, I'm, I'm yeah, looking here. 300 wind mag, so you got a lot bigger magazine. It just, this magazine just doesn't Not gonna it. work in there, is it? Yeah. All right, but this it's is something. Go on the monster. This is something pretty new, though. Yeah, that's our new Renegade line. This is so small and light. I mean, yeah, it's basically this is the base model Renegade, brand new rail, 16 and a half inch barrel, nitrate heat treated. This is a flat top mil spec upper that works with this rail system, but we have, like we always had on all our builds, a heat sink barrel nut. And why is that important? Whoa! That's what was left of a gun that was sitting in a safe of a house that burnt to the ground. So our heat sink helped dissipate the heat to where it didn't continue just burning. That's pretty much any gun on his worst nightmare right there. <laughs> so. Jeez. So when we dial this up to a 300 win mag, yeah. Now you're really taking advantage of that. Yeah, so this is a 24 inch. And not only is it a regulated piston system, it's also the size of our current 308. You make all of these right here? Yeah, right here in Deer Valley Air Park, right in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, you're about uh, 400 yards from where my airplane's parked right over here. And we're about 200 yards away from McMillan. Yep, <laughs> literally. So yeah. there's a lot of gun manufacturers in this area right here. Yep. Robar's here, that's where we get our MP3 coating. All right, before we end, you gotta show me this little baby right oh, back here. He's been, Ian's been bugging the hell out of me because he wants to run the <laughs> out of one of these. Oops. So this is our little PSG, a Patriot sub gun is what we called it. Okay. That's the designation, PSG. This thing weighs 3.6 pounds. We have the plug here for a quick release, so you can put a regular buffer tube or a side hey. folder or whatever you hey. like. I would pat him down before he leaves because... <laughs> nah. Yeah. <laughs> I know where he lives. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for showing us your place. Thanks for coming by. You bet. Thanks, Frank. Good as idea. always, buddy. Hey, cheers, mate. Great seeing you. Thank you. Before we put an end to this gun venture, I just had to head up to Sedona for a little Red Rock excursion. Wow. The Red Rocks of Sedona, up close and personal. Spectacular. Down here on the bottom, you got the junipers. Ah, oh, it smells fabulous. If you don't like this, you don't like the outdoors. Every time you turn a corner, you get a different view. It's incredible. I feel like I'm in a John Ford movie with the scenic backdrop. I expect to see John Wayne out here or something. Had to come out to Sedona, had to do a little bit of play. Now we're down there in Phoenix and we're shooting some stuff with Ian Harrison, having a good time, but side trip, that's what it's all about. So. These are the famous Red Rocks of Sedona. We hooked up with Arizona Safari Jeep Tours. And because Arizona is a real open carry state, had to get decked out with my Smith & Wesson Performance Center 1911 barbecue gun. That's what we do when we're having a real gun venture. Damn you, General Aviation. It's all cold cotton here. Uh, getting a little rougher. I ain't afraid of no ghost.
Oh, what just happened? 